Welcome to Delicious Emily's New Beginning and my continuing Let's Play thereof. Memory served me correctly, this should be episode 24. The fourth scenario at Patrick's Garden, which is the third restaurant. It started in Emily's place, then went on to the patio, and now I'm working in Patrick's Garden. Patrick being the husband, Emily being the mum, and Paige being the baby. I have no idea what I'm going to face in the fourth scenario because I've never seen it before. But to get three stars, I need 2100 points. Or money. I've currently got 400 in shopping money, which is not enough to upgrade either of the two things I can upgrade. To either get a singer or a musician, or get a toy for Paige to keep her more occupied. So, we won't do that. I do have some new menu items, however. Okay, I've got bread. Okay. I will go with the hummus sandwich rather than the tuna sandwich because foodies like it. I tend to cater to foodies because they tip very well. And apparently I've also got raspberry jam or strawberry jam. Low patience, low tip, but they like Paige. I'm going to get more soccer mums. 40% of my customers are going to be soccer mums, as over 10% being kids. So I'll go with the... Is that raspberry jam? To please the soccer mums. Right, that's the menu changes. Oh, I've got to pick raspberries as well as pears, by the looks of it. I'm as sure as I'm going to be about my menu. So let's see what the story says. I'm sorry, Antonio, but I'm still working on the vegetables. You were so quick with your reorder. I know, it's been really crazy with all the college kids over at the pizzeria. We're the hottest place to eat for the entire campus. That's amazing. Now, if only I had a quick way to get these vegetables for you. We don't open for a few hours yet. Want me to help you out? Really? That would be great. So Antonio and Patrick are doing vegetables. I put Paige in a play area. Here comes my little dishwashing helper. And while customers are deciding what they want to do, I will go and... Oh, I can actually squeak that teddy bear. Okay, I need a sandwich. Hummus. And, okay, I don't need to cook it. And just serve the nice lady. Collect the cash, pick up the egg that's lying around. I don't know if I need any more of those. Oh, okay, I need another hummus sandwich, by the looks of it. And a mint tea to go to the foodies over there. And then I'm probably going to need some more bread at this point. Oh, okay, I actually have to cook the bread. Ah, wasn't aware of that. Okay, I'm going to need an egg. I heard a mouse. Didn't see it, but I heard it. I'm going to need a raspberry jam. Raspberry jam and another hummus sandwich. And get the baby out of the way before she annoys the wonderful customers. Because soccer mums don't like my baby. Which is just wrong. Ah, I've got everything I need for you lot. Somebody clean that table. Let me go pick up a flower. And a raspberry something. For that guy. Go clean that table. Let me go use my last raspberry on the raspberry jam and a hummus sandwich. And take the money from you. Pick the raspberries. Another hummus sandwich. Clear the table. A raspberry jam. Oh, somebody didn't like Paige. That's just not nice. I didn't even realize that people were there. Pick up a couple of eggs. Pick up some more raspberries. Do some more bread, probably. Okay. That's that one. Oh, you want a mint tea? You want one of those teas and one of those? We'll serve you, and then we'll serve you two. Get an egg on the way back. Yeah. 
Yeah, Paige has done something nice. Oh, wrong one. Oh, there's the mouse. I saw the mouse that time. I need an egg. Oh, somebody clear that table. Oh, and soccer mum's getting annoyed. Oh, wrong one. Okay, now I need some more bread. You're making me run around a lot. Oh, somebody wants an egg. I've reached one star, but I've still got a fair much chunk of the day to go. Oh, okay, some people over there that want some food. I really should go serve them the food. Uh, serve you that, then you that. Pick up the raspberry and the egg. Clear that table. I've reached one star. You want an egg? And you want one of these as well. <laughs> so go clear that table. Busy day, apparently. Are uh, those other foodies ready yet? No. Now they are. Good. We'll go make them a sandwich. That way I can get the bonus for serving two sets of people at the same time. Take the money from this one. Oh, okay. I need to go cook some bread for these people to make their hummus sandwich. Jam. Them. Three of you. That gave me some cash, not quite enough to. Oh, you, you didn't like Paige again. Now I need an egg. Yeah, I reached three stars. And I've still got one set of money to collect. A relatively successful day, that one. i got to admit, the hummus sandwiches made me run around, around a bit. Yay! And Paige is, is using his two parents as a swing. Isn't that cute? What's happening? You okay, Bridget? It's just, I remember doing that with Patrick when he was a baby. Well, what are we waiting for? I thought they were going to pick up Patrick for a second then. A nice photograph of a swing. Yeah. That's scenario number four done at Patrick's Garden. And we've got a nice memory for Paige's baby book. Where is it? In here somewhere. There it is. It took Grandma Bridget a little time to get used to Paige, but this was, as awesome, this was an awesome moment where she let her guard down and swung Paige with Uncle Antonio. Isn't that cute? So there's anything in Emily's scrapbook. Oh, okay. My wonderful trip home to see Mum and Dad. I can't believe how many memories were in that old farmhouse. Okay, apparently there's some kind of extra thing with Emily's childhood memories. I'll have to do that at some point. But that's where I'm going to end this one. Next time round it'll be scenario number five. There's some new character I haven't seen before. Apparently going to be coming up shortly. I don't know what that's going to involve. 
But, as always, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you down the road for more episodes of Delicious Emily's New Beginning. Cheerio!